Theater director Thomas Kale has found the magic formula for a Broadway hit. Could Hamilton enjoy the kind of staying power enjoyed by Phantom of the Opera? We meet the director now. I'm past patiently waiting, I'm passionately smashing every expectation, every action's an act of creation. I'm Kale is widely expected to win his first Tony Award this month. The culmination of a busy year that, in addition to mounting Hamilton, has included directing two off-Broadway plays. Articulate, smart and genial, Kale likens himself to a travelling salesman who arrives in a town and makes art with whatever is handy. And I go to each job and I open my little briefcase up and I take out the things that I have or I know. And so it might be a Swiss Army knife, you know, a quart of milk and a ruler. And that might be all I can bring to it, but that's what I have. He has a reputation for directing shows that are accessible to the traditional and non-traditional theatre-going audiences alike. In the Heights, also by Miranda, introduced salsa dancing and Latin characters to Broadway. And the plays Lombardi and Magic Bird appeal to sports fans. I want to make Broadway um, a word that doesn't have a pejorative connotation. I don't want musical theater to be uh, a dismissive term. I want it to be something that people can be proud of, that people can say, look at the possibilities. Miranda deservedly gets credit for writing the story and music for the mega-hit Hamilton, but Kale is the man who picked the people who made it happen on stage. It's no coincidence they all got Tony nominations. The achievement also reflects Kale's inclusive philosophy when handling a large creative team. Humanity is more important to me than talent, so I try to surround myself with the best humans who also happen to be at a very high level of talent, but if there is a choice to make, I'll go humanity over talent every time. One of the greatest compliments anyone could ever give a director is everybody was in the same show. And, and that's something I think about constantly. And I also know that I do my best work when I feel like I can, I can put four things out there and, and see what sticks and ask someone to try and also give myself permission to say I don't know. The ten dollar founding father without a father got a lot farther by working a lot harder by being a lot smarter. By Next on Kale's so agenda smarter, is making sure he can clone Hamilton for audiences far from Broadway. A version is planned for Chicago this fall, and another goes on tour next spring in San Francisco and then Los Angeles. He said the touring versions will be exactly like the one on Broadway, save for imperceptible changes to accommodate the new theater's dimensions. My name is Alexander Hamilton. Abdiel Leroy, CCTV.